All right, guys, sorry about that, cutting out immediately. Uh, I guess I just didn't have enough space on my phone. I take a lot of pictures of my son, so I fill up my phone fast. But anyways, as I was saying, this is my Nano Kitty, which came new in package. Move on here. Um, I have my Gigapets Babe. This didn't come uh, brand new, but it came in package. It was just opened here on the side, so at least they knew how to open it properly. Um, I don't even open them properly, I guess. And it's a really cute pet, really fun to run. I had a good time wearing it for a little while. Definitely really adorable. It's Babe. He's cute. And, of course... My Gigapets Rancor. Um, I guess this one was not very popular because it eventually eats people. Or it does eat people. But I like it. I haven't run it yet. I just opened it to make sure it was running. But definitely, I don't really have any interest in the other Star Wars pets. Maybe the Yoda one. But I wanted this one. And I got it for super cheap. That was brand new on package too. For like $19. Here's my Gigapets Frog. I had bought a different one. It wasn't new in package or anything. Um, and when it came to me, the buttons didn't work. So I ended up trying to win another one. And I won this one, brand new in package, for $19. Yay! I like how it still has the Kmart thing on it. It's just kind of funny to see that on there. Like, they just took it off the shelf. This is my Tamagotchi Music Star. I only have one. I know people have like 10,000 of them, but I just, I don't know. I don't like to collect doubles of a lot of things. I try not to unless I get them in a lot. But I got the one that I wanted anyways, the blue one. I haven't run this yet just because there's a lot to figure out. And every time I'm like, I feel like running this, I don't have time to figure it out. So I will run it eventually. Got my VR Creatures Godzilla pet. I think this is the official licensed one. Um, the case, if you close it, it's really hard to open. Again, sticker on it, can you believe? $9.96, but then it went down to $5. I want to say that's 7 underneath it. Anyways, it runs similar to um, a Nano Dino, which it's weird. It has the MGA icons on it, but it's still cute. Then I did get the MGA um, VR Creatures Godzilla one. Maybe this is the official licensed one. Um, but it's just an MGA dinosaur. But I wanted to add it to my collection. Uh, my sister, White Claw 48, she actually sent this to me. Look at the awesome English. <laughs> and that creepy dinosaur with the eye that is way too small. But anyways. Uh, this is actually a Johnny Puppy. It says Dinky Puppy on it, and that icon looks really weird on it. Um, but yeah, it's a Johnny Puppy. I haven't played with it fully yet, but I plan to. Uh, this one I got knowing that it wasn't going to be a Dinky Puppy. Um, definitely not. But I got it on purpose because I knew it was going to be a Hidoriko Puppy. Very cute. Um... I'm glad I have it. The Hito Ricos um, have some charm to them. They're pretty easy to take care of, but they're just cute. So I got this. Uh, yes. The Merino. Um, I really like this Tamagotchi. It's fun. I still want to get the Ocean and the... Um, what's the other one? The Mothra, which I'm actually bidding on now. But hopefully I'll get it. But I really enjoyed this one. I haven't run it all the way to full growth uh, just because I don't have time right now to pay attention to it when it's getting attacked and stuff. So it just ends up dying. Um, let's see what else I got here. My Taco Seijin, which is just a dinky alien. That's fun. I managed to get him for like four days, but then he died. So the dinkies definitely take a little bit more focus, which I don't have at the time. I like the packaging though, it's really cool. This is my Pokemon puppy. Um, different 
background as the one he showed me, but I'm not really that bent out of shape about it because it came brand new and there's nothing wrong with it. And it's really fun. It's really adorable. I ran it for like a day, but I want to actually play it through. But it is kind of cute. It's got real puppy pictures. Real puppy heads. This is the other one my sister sent, White Claw 48. You probably saw the video with this pet in it, the Johnny Cat, uh, with this casing. Uh, I think it's kind of cool she sent me this one because I really liked it. It's got that cute little poem on the side. But, yep. Uh, random dino pet. Kind of runs like a Gyope, uh, but I'm not really sure. It's not the same evolutions, I think. It's a little different. I was hoping that when I got it, I was hoping it would be uh, the modern dinosaur, um, a.k.a. the Johnny Dinosaur. But it is not. But that's okay. This is Hiroiko Fish. Um, I had somebody buy this in exchange for art. So I gave them art and they bought this for me. Uh, I haven't run it yet, but I did test to make sure it's running. Again, Hiroiko is cute, easy to take care of, which is good for my life. Here is my Dragon Quest pedometer slime. I paid a decent amount for this, unfortunately, but I really wanted it for my collection just because it's really cute. It's kind of different, unique, not the same that you always get, and it's fun. So it is a pedometer, and uh, it does evolve. Both White Claw 48 and I got this one. It's weird because it kind of runs like a Johnny dog, but it doesn't at the same time. I, I didn't get a chance to run all the way through because I messed up and it glitched out, but uh, I will sometime and see if it is actually a Johnny dog or not. Those are some of the pictures. See, they're different. So many pets. So many pets. This is my Pempy. Uh, again, another one I wanted. I got it for really cheap. And it's pretty cute. It's kind of like a Gyopi programming, but the evolutions are different. And my Poochie Puppy, uh, which I kind of terribly cut open. Um, but I was just new to collecting. But this one's really cute too. It doesn't take a lot of... Um, it doesn't need a lot of attention. It can take a lot of neglect. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to run it so I can see how it evolves. But it's cute. This is the actual dino one. So the other one I had was the bitty bat, and this is actually the dinosaur. Definitely cute too. I plan to run this at some point. I like all the little pictures on it. Pretty cute. Taking a shower. This is my heart tune. It did come used, but it came with packaging and everything. Really unique, different pet, kind of cute. Tells your fortune. I got it in exchange for doing a lot of art for somebody, just because they are rare and they go for a lot of money. Okay. This is my peas. My Tamagotchi peas. <laughs> Sounds like I'm saying peas. Um, this is the purple one or pink one. It came with this, the Melody, I think, set. Uh, I only ran it one generation, so I'm going to run it again at some point. Oh, Melody Land set. But I really like it. I didn't know how I would feel about colored Tamagotchis, um, but I, I enjoyed it, definitely. DNA Fish. Um... Kind of one of those cheaper pets, but definitely unique, kind of different, fun. You don't see a lot of fish pets out there. Uh, so I liked it. I enjoyed it. I had to be really careful because it's a little touchy, just because, you know, it is a cheap pet. So that is terrifying. 